Okay. Oh, dude, I wish Are you just setting the mood? I, I hate when he surprises me. You don't like being surprised, dude? I don't like you. You don't like being surprised? Never, ever, wait, since wait, we, ready, ready? ever since we made vlogs, dude, I've always hated when he surprises me, bro. Guys, welcome to the podcast. This is Doped Up and Dying, the, the Sunday Morning Smoke Show. Show. Guys, this is the post-Thanksgiving special. We are at the fucking crib. <laughs> we even have draws. I have, the, I, I have the iPad here. I'm sitting here with my two co-hosts. This is a fam episode. We're going to be hanging out. We're here at the apartment at Studio B for us, which is the crib. I am your host, Dylan J. Negri. Sitting beside me is your other co-host, Kevin Sanchezy. What's up, baby? <laughs> that's, that's Kevin's drop. <laughs> I don't want to... Like, you know me some very hustle, well. Some like, pretty well. Yeah, I, I know you. Uh, that's why you know so me pretty funny. well. That's the joke. It's just... It's awesome. And I, it's, it has nothing to do with me. That's exactly... It's Boy. not your so drop. So, are you denying your Latino heritage? That has nothing. That's not even the right Latino. And that voice you hear over there is, that is your other co-host, DC Williams. DC. <laughs> you keep coming like, like dick in vagina. vagina. <laughs> Pretty literal. Bro, also butthole. Very literal. You keep coming metaphor. like dick, vagina, and butthole. Wait, hold up. Oh. Quick question. Because hmm. he comes. Do his buttholes butthole. come? No. DC does. <laughs> he, his butthole doesn't come. Wow. It makes him do. Wow. It makes him. him it makes him different. Yeah. All right, but let's keep it clean, at least for my mom. For the, we always have to keep Jesus it at least a little Christ. bit clean for the first time answer for my mom, so she can always watch the episode. That was awful. And um, but this is a home episode, guys. How was Thanksgiving, guys? How was your Thanksgiving? Um. Well, my mom's in a hospital, so well, she just got back from the hospital, and she didn't cook, so. See, None of us took the onus to do it. Wow, no initiative. And you, you didn't call like your brothers and get like the powwow going. My br one of my brothers is crazy, the other brother is a hood rat, and then my other brother is Nathaniel in Miami running a business for the gays. DC, what do you guys usually do for Thanksgiving? Just eat food, cook food. Your, your food. mom comes up. No, I go. I go to my mom's house. So. You go to uh, 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 where is it? Atlanta. Atlanta, right? Yeah. You know what's funny? I wanted to Comes say Atlanta, to and then I was like trying to remember. I was like, wait, it is Georgia, is it, but is it Atlanta? Or it's coming to Georgia right now. Mm. <laughs> I'm just assuming Atlanta. It's not. Even, it's coming to Georgia, but I fly to Atlanta to get there. I went and saw Mama Negri. I was in Boca, um, and then uh, fly back to Big J's Philly weekend. This is a pre-record. This is all coming up, guys. And um, but I'll say this. You don't ever get the fam together for your like what what like you don't get the brothers together. You guys don't ever take initiative uh, every Thanksgiving. No no no. We 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 tried a few, when I first got back from the army on my first Thanksgiving. That was at the big one. I feel like Dylan thinks that you guys are a family. Here's the thing. Dylan does this thing right. This is interesting. Where like on birthdays and holidays, he's like, "Wait, guys, you gonna give me something?" And it's like, "Oh oh, Dylan thinks we are like we're we're adjusted. lost." <laughs> properly as a family unit and we're not so like for his birthday he was like trying to see if we were gonna get him presents i'm like dude i haven't bought someone a present who i wasn't i never still make it seem in like i was and then dude, a couple of weeks ago he goes all right will you guys give me something for christmas i was like what are you doing throwing that out there you fucking bro i never said that? that all i said was <laughs> all i said was you know i feel like i've been i feel like i've been I'll a great brother by the way i got dc a birthday present of a hoodie that he I'll still wears to this christmas. day oh that's sweet what was it? It was a dope fucking hoodie. It had like a, a, a embroidery of like a girl dancing or some shit on it. I thought like it was it? very DC Williams. You know what? Did you like it? Did yeah, you like yeah, the hoodie? For, yeah, I wore it for a while. Have you ever bought Dylan a present? I don't know. I've just that by the way, also, uh, also, and meals. I even gave him my uh, Jordan mids. Now he earned those. You didn't just give him those. Respect. They're also mids, though. You know. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. They go with the they, they go with the owner wearing them currently. <laughs> Nah, oh real. shit! He said you're mid, dude. Yeah, I, I got it. I got the joke. Oh shit, yeah, dude! I got the joke, dude. You gotta talk shit to you like <laughs> hit, that. Hit, hit the Negri, button baby mad boy. late to them. Dude, Dylan Negri, baby boy. Yo, man. <laughs> but uh, no, like, listen. I always ask you guys because I I do want to know. 
I had that like Christmas like belief of that one day I'm gonna ask you guys like so did you guys get anything for Christmas and you'd be like oh, bro my mom surprised me I got everything I ever wanted she told me she loved me and that she was sorry no, 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 for I, how she treated on. me when I'm, I was adopted I, I'm gonna say this first of all my mother has apologized for a lot of things because and I don't blame my mom for things my mom's an angel was she an insane angel two things could be true is she an insane That's angel all or just are insane a drunk angel, right? angel. She what my mother is the problem. My I'm talking when I say my mom, I mean my not my biological mother. I'm talking about oh. the one that raised me. Okay. And she was stone cold sober. Your life is so confusing. Ninety six percent. My life is confusing. It's a movie written by three great uh uh writers. It's and like directors. Tyler Perry's involved though. Somehow what? it's like Scorsese. Yeah. Who's who's the three people in your movie? Uh, who's right? actually let's do director, writer, lead actor. I'm gonna be real with you. I need, I need a combination. All right, go. I need Tarantino writing it. Okay. Because he's gonna say a lot of n words, and we need that. <laughs> <laughs> and I need him kind of directing it, but I want Scorsese to finish it. Okay. And and see who does it better. Maybe they both direct it in their own ways, right? Okay. And then uh, producer. Oh, you gotta get Harvey Weinstein, <laughs> but like from the '90s. So you know, so you, so you get some like really tough oh, yeah, so talent. So you look at the girls before the public knew he raped. Before the public just knew yeah, he yeah, raped. Yeah, yeah. Before Hollywood. anyone knew he raped. No, no. I think a few people knew, but not everybody. Knew. I think I would go like yeah, Judd knew. Apatow, uh, no, Seth Rogen, yeah, you can't and see Leonardo that. DiCaprio. Wait, oh, you you choosing an actor as well? No, that, that, I said that, that's my writer, director. I mean, he, so oh. Judd directing. He just, he, he just started talking about his own movies. What happened? No, right? I'm doing. No, no, he's doing. He's doing the movie. <laughs> so you so segments are a thing where everyone goes through. Uh, no, I think that's Judd a good question to, to ask guests. Like, who's writing your movie? Like, no, no, who's the director of your the movie? Writer. Who's the writer? And, and who's, who's your lead, lead actor? actor? Who, so Judd Apatow, uh, Seth Rogen, and then Leonardo DiCaprio. Lead actor will be me. Nah, can't say that. Joe that's not an answer. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I missed it. Yo, I did, uh, for a second, I was like, that's a good actor. <laughs> Wait, why did you pick Jonah Hill? <laughs> this is not perfect for him to Dude. play Kevin. I, I, Dude, I mean, like, I, what, 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 are you, what are you doing, dude? Dude. He would play you awful, but also, I love it. Dude, you hurt my feelings. <laughs> I, you don't feel like, you, you don't think Jonah Hill would, would put his best foot uh, forward, yo, DC, method wise? DZ, yo. First of all, I respect Jonah Hill as an actor. That's what I'm saying, so I don't understand why it's a problem that he would yeah, Why is it a problem? Because well, you guys both struggle with being chubby and hating it and don't want to talk about, the, talk about it in public? I talk about it in public. Don't talk about Jonah yeah, yeah, Hill's he body. Was, event, yes, so did he, but eventually he goes, guys, I want to stop talking about it. Do you think you're ever gonna get to that? Um, if I'm in really good shape, uh, I'm gonna start challenging people to fight me. Mm -hmm. But if you ever like yeah. lose weight and like if you ever like use, I want to definitely lose the weight. If before, you ever do wanna, any body well, positivity, I want to lose the weight before I uh, get famous because nah, I definitely nah, don't nah, want. That's not gonna nah. happen. You that's can't do that. do that. I've been telling him he can't do that. No, that's a waste. That's you gotta how, do it while how, you're famous. Yeah, that's not how you gotta lose work. the weight. Well, yeah. No. What? But what else are you gonna do when you run out of ideas? You gotta lose weight when you run out of ideas. What I'm do you never think celebrities run do? Out of ideas. Yeah, but when you do though. But I won't. Right. I won't, but dude. okay. But when when hey you, dude you, hey dude <laughs> hey dude dude you're saying that I'm gonna have no. a block of ideas? No, everyone hey, hits dude, a I'm block. Hey dude, I'm an idea machine. Everyone hits a block. No, no one's I'm an idea machine. Give me an idea right this now. Is, this is why there's idea right now. Idea, idea right, right now. now, right now. Top ten idea. Top ten idea. You want to top ten? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't Here you go. That. Don't fall for that. I will, uh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna give him the idea that you want. Top. So you're gonna give him a top He's ten stalled. idea. You're, you're letting him stall. You're gonna give him. A, okay. <laughs> you're letting him stall. And you let me. By the way, top ten. Top ten idea right now. Top ten idea right now. Isn't impossible. Okay. Okay. All right. Frivolous. We take water. Right? Okay. We take water. And we inject it in our blood. <laughs> wow, he's talking about a general idea. Right? Not, it's not even something in his scope. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, it's not even in my scope, dude. That's how good I am at ideas, dude. No, no, no. You want a real idea for real? Yes. You want a real idea? <laughs> I'll give you a real what? idea. He said. <laughs> I give you a real. I don't, I don't know what yo. I'm saying about blood and water. I don't know. Yo. I don't know. Don't, don't, don't yo, listen. Don't I, listen. Yo, you want a stalling. real idea, dude? This you want a real idea, dude? Stalling. Dude, here's a good idea. Okay. I don't know. This is the idea song. It's coming to me. It's coming. To me. Ready? We become one world China. All right. 
Right. See, we you let didn't the even Ch- have to do that. No, no, no. We let the Chinese take over. <laughs> what is your guys' Shark Tank idea? You said what? What you got? What would you guys' Shark Tank idea be? My Shark Tank idea. <laughs> Uh, my short take idea would be shit, man, bro. My comedy career. Imagine <laughs> pitching that, dude. Imagine pitching that, dude. Like Mark Imagine Cuban's there. That one. <laughs> that in California. <laughs> I got an idea for DC. Yo, Mark, let's I, got, I got an Mr. idea for DC. Wonderful. I got an idea for DC. Mr. Oh, a special kind of mic that Look. every time he laughs, it mutes. Look. It mutes. That would be fire, though. DC, every comic would DC, use that mic. I never know. Top ten idea. You- DC, Wait. I never know if you're killing or not. No, I know what DC's look, killing. I know when DC's look, killing. Look, imagine Mr. Wonderful telling you to take your comedy career in the back and shoot it. <laughs> and then just fucking... <laughs> okay, so you made no money in the by past the way, four years. By the way, you know how delusional comedians are? <laughs> they go on Shark Tank. And do 10 minutes. All that, do, but, to get, but do, do all do that. Mr. Minutes. Wonderful will go, you need to take this career and take it in the back and shoot it. And just like a good investor, they won't do that. And will continue to do it. And continue to be a comic. Imagine instead of pitching, they just do 15 they just do a hot 10, just fucking firing off. I think you could do something comedian-based on but Shark that's, Tank. But, I think but, you could pitch like a But guess what, club. though? As soon as you do that, that's all the marketing you needed. You just did stand-up on Shark Tank. Bro, you guys, you guys want to know my idea? And I'm announcing here on, uh, on Dope mm-hmm. Dope. Welcome, Brittany. Really well, you know what, show? I got to finish the audition for this week. I wanna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on the circle, bro. What's what? the circle? Even though you ever watch Netflix on the circle, yeah. they're all. It's, I think it films in like uh, Jersey. It's all in one building, and it's a social media uh, network show. You can't see each other, so people can go in there either as themselves or as um, a uh, catfish profile. And you pick your photos, you pick your profile, you talk through like text, like, and everyone's in their own hotel room, yeah. and you fight to be Chicks the top it. influencer. I bro, I'm a. Di- it's a great show. It's a good show. So it's Hunger Dude, Games for influencers. Yeah, and bro. You ever? Just, what is the world coming? You ever just know when you're like kind of like, I'm like, yo, I could do good at this. Abrupt. And I'm announcing yeah. right now, bro. I'm getting myself on the circle. Speaking of launching okay. points, bro, I'm telling you, I'm made for this show. Bro, I don't making friends short term is my game. So you're you're made for making, making TV. friends short term is my game, bro. Making friends short term is my bro, game. Bro, everyone my either dude. loves me or hates me immediately. That's enough for me to win $100,000. By the way, $100,000, baby boy, we go on the road. So your plan is I'm to buying get the RV. on By the way, if I, I, I say like this. If I win the circle, I'm buying that RV. Okay. That's going to be an interesting sleeping situation. So wait, did you buy? Right. Did we you might hate each other. If I spent all this money to hate What's the audition other? process like? What is it? How can we get you to win the circle? How can, you, how can we get you in to start? Okay, I'll say this much. So the audition process is online. I wonder if there's like, um, ref, not referrals, but like people who, th- you know, talk about you. I'll, yo, there's been multiple people who, I actually had uh, someone who watches it, Zach Yamiko, and I asked him about it. He goes, yeah, I can see that. You'd be perfect on that show. Bro, like, I'm telling you, I don't think I have to do much. Also, you just text Zach Amigo, what should I do? I mean, you got to submit. And Zach Amigo was like, you know what you should do? And he'll give you the most crazy No, no, shit. Zach will give you an answer. No, 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 no. Amigo no, no, will no. give if you an answer. If we're talking about reality TV, if we're talking about Zach Dylan. worked for if we're, t- no, 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 if we're talking about Dylan getting on reality TV, all he has to do is be himself, dude. Bro, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If like, I might, if I might, if his I might personality couldn't self, come in more. Handy. I'm a reality TV. But person. I don't want you to be your most annoying self. But, no, but, no, no, no. But as it, your friend, I don't want you to. No, do it's that. just what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> he's just gonna go on the show <laughs> thinking he's the shit, dude. He can't Woo! tell the shit, and then and that shit. Well, you, though that only that makes for good reality TV. Like that, that person, a delusional is, person. Is no, yeah. not a delusional. You could you could play into not being delusional. delusional, but or you could just play to be delusionally confident. Yes, that yes. person is absolutely. By the way, which already like is that. my like shtick for the most part. Yeah, yeah. It's not a shtick. Because I was watching, <laughs> I was watching. Um, when I meant <laughs> shtick, you know, I, you know, I meant personality. <laughs> you know that uh, those MTV shows, like the Challenge or some shit like that, whatever it was called. And I remember these dudes. I was like, there was one dude on. He was big as fuck, and I was like. Yeah, this dude should win every fight. He should be all over MTV, and he was for a while. So, yeah, maybe you could do this. Uh, bro, I'm telling you, I think I could make a run on circuit t- uh, TV, a TV circuit run this year. Tell me, bro. Dylan Circle. is doing everything that comedians uh, from the past used to be like, you shouldn't do that. Right? Like, one of the main things comedians used to say was, like, comedians should not run a club. First thing Dylan got us to do was run a club. And then the second thing... The other thing hey, 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 uh, big hey, comedians, worked, comedians say not to do is 
Whatever you do, then go on reality <sighs> television. But then again, all these comedians are poor. So I don't want to listen to yeah, them anymore. DC, DC, a lot of comedians are reality DC. TV shows, though. What, but what, what, what does Dane Cook do? Win. Make movies and sell out Madison Square Garden. Sell tickets. Sell oh, tickets. Oh, yeah, yeah, Yo, earlier we're on the phone call. We're on a phone call. Hey, we're all just hey, talking hey, shit. Hey. And at one point, he goes, this reminds me of something that Dane Cook said. I was like, don't compare me to Dane Cook. And Kevin goes, bro, don't believe the slander around Dane Cook. That motherfucker did great for what he did in his time. He made greatness. And you just hear DC in the background go, and he sell tickets. <laughs> well, the context that we were talking about some people who don't sell Isn't tickets. Isn't that a weird thing, though? Right. Hey, I have a question. Right, right. I have a question. What is there? Does integrity, does an artist's integrity exist? Yeah. What? No. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's an like interesting I'm, question. Artistic does integrity artist doesn't integrity exist. actually what do you mean by that? exist? Are you saying there is a the notion? Yes, there's a notion that you not going on the circle or America's Got Talent or reality TV or whatever. Like, like look, look, look at Usama when America's Got Talent. Everyone respects and loves him. Because he did it, he did him. He was himself or whatever. Stand up for a long so, time. So again, it's a weird thing. But that was a stand up. That was a stand up thing that he did. I'm not, I'm, by the way, yeah. I went but on, America's got talent. By the way, a, a comedian has won the circle before a Chicago comic. Who? Who? Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that's what I'm trying to say, though. Is there's different launching points? If that makes sense. You guys know you can submit. Like by that, way, by the way, when I say America's exactly, I literally mean they're not looking for. Daniel Todd. I'm trying to think of a name. Fucking uh, 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 Ryan Long, where they're like, oh, bro, you be killing it online. They're like, oh, no. Ryan Long will kill that. Ryan Long will be very interesting to watch in that. Bro, why do you get more excited for him than me? Because I don't, uh, I don't have it's fine. as much love for Ryan Long as I do you. Because I don't want, don't I do want to see you do well. Because I love you. <laughs> I love you, man. No, listen. I'm just saying. It, there's a weird thing. Does artist integrity integrity actually exist? Because yes. I'm getting to a point where I'm starting to look at. You say like even selling tickets, bro. There's only there's the West Coast and the East Coast. New York is one little place. S- little place yeah. in a ginormous country. It's also the Midwest. Ninety nine percent of the country are watching America's Got Talent. Circle. That's true. Um, um, fucking reality TV, this TV, that TV. Dude, I was. Hey, but by the way, and if you again, even look at Kevin Hart or whatever, if you do it your way, that's artist integrity. But people, let's, let's even say someone, a uh, future, hopefully a future guest, and obviously is doing the club coming up. Maddie Smith, yeah. someone can look at her and go, oh, Ma- is she selling out by going and wilding out? No, she's selling tickets. She's making a life for herself. So that's what I'm saying. A lot of artists who won't, who don't want to go in the circle, who are like, why the fuck would I do that? That's a that's fucking lame. It's also another thing. It's like, dude, I, is the circle like, is the circle for artists or is it a reality TV show? I think a little bit of both. If I'm being honest, but honestly, bro, I'm a big fan of the circle. Like, and I mean, like how they, they their politics. That makes sense. It seems positive. Uh, I I don't know. I don't know <laughs> the circle at all, and I definitely don't want to tell a friend never to do something because honestly, the truth is this: a lot of these uh, people with artistic integrity are boring people. You don't want to be around. Um, people who bitter. like are bitter. That's you know? what I'm trying to say. Is artist integrity? Does artist integrity exist, or is it just bitterness disguised as artist integrity? Ooh. This is wait, 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 wait. I've bit earned of this both. one. It's a little bit of both. There's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of both because there's a point of. There's a little bit of both. There's, a, there's I know. a point of, and let me just make this point, um, of that there's a artist depending on how long it takes to get where you're trying to go. With what you're trying to do, you know, as being 100% like yourself in your work and your material, whatever it is, <clears throat> that, oh, if you're not getting, fur- if you're not getting, <laughs> yo, further you're the worst enough, podcaster right now. If you're not getting far enough, then you feel like you need to make adjustments to what is easily sellable, what's more marketable, what's more commercially viable. Eventually, is that selling out no, or no, is no, that finding your lane? That's not selling. It's finding a middle ground of like, how do I yeah. keep true to myself, but how do I um, make sell some tickets? Exactly the way I, that I want to do. I don't okay, think, I, got I, don't a, think, I got an example of this. Really quick, really quick, I, I don't think selling tickets is selling out 
I don't think because it's these days it's not selling tickets is not selling out. No, no, I'm I'm just saying I don't think selling tickets is selling out. So you're of course not, not in our profession. I don't think TV show or any of that because everyone did all that so they can have a bigger profile so yeah. they can sell tickets and all that stuff. But and it I'm, grants you bigger opportunities. Exactly. What I'm but saying now, about now but executives that's what I'm saying. are looking at you. These days, to your point, is what I'm saying. Don't open is, a comedy club, but it grants opportunities to a lot of my people. People are stupid. Like what? What do they? What do comics do besides? Judge Act like they who, write uh, jokes all the time and sleep too much. Really yeah. though, yeah. Listen, you know what you're I mean. Not like jokes all the time. You're, you're going up there. Like a lot of these comics are. Oh, bro, no, you don't. No, you don't. You go up there with a premise. By the and way, you've been doing it long enough where you're like, you know how to formulate a comic thought, a yeah. comic joke, and then you're able. Some to don't even know. Really quick though, two to wrap up, what I'm saying is, Someone, no, it's no, about the exposure you com- get from the show. And that opportunity that you bring these days is not what like what whatever opportunity you get. It's about what you do with that opportunity. I heard a young comic. Mm. You get what I'm saying. So if you get viral from being on that show, it's about bringing the pay. Hey, I'm also a comic. I have yes. merch. I sell tickets. You get what I'm saying. It's not just I'm just some like reality star dumb idiot. You know what? DC would do that shit on the first episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm also a comic trying to sell merch. Don't I would I would wear my at name on my shirt on that show. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, the show? Listen, Ari right, does walk around with the Jew T-shirt. That's so like for, I, listen, I understand t-shirt. promoting. And all that, but that's what another thing that's wild is. There's a lot of selling a ticket is a different thing. Selling an experience is a different thing. Selling a repeat ticket is a different thing, and that's also what the club kind of has been teaching me. It has has taught me like going forward with 2020. By the way, like, I also even want to talk about some goals for this podcast. I'm the fam episode. You know, it's Thanksgiving. I'm obviously you know we just did Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for you, motherfuckers. I'm thankful for the fan base that we have now and also for the fan base coming up in the beginning. Bro, we can go to Indonesia and film the fucking special if we wanted to. But, like, that's another thing is, like, why wouldn't we? And even, like, that's why also I love DC because DC will say shit and you're, like, you'll brush it off. DC will be, like, let's f- spend the money, go to Indonesia, and line up a special. And you're, like, all right, all right. You're, like, bro, we could come back here and nobody here would know about it. And they'd be, like, yo, how are you making all these residuals? I'm, like, oh, because people overseas are burning my album right now. And like, even though that's not d- directly helping us, maybe at the at the comedy clubs here, at other things here, bro, these are all things that chip away at the grand scheme of maybe ten years down the line when you are when we are popping here, five years down the line, sorry, when you're popping here, then you go back overseas, you go, hey guys, I haven't seen you in ten years. Yeah, Joe Coy, for a long time was running shows in L- in Vegas and renting out the theater himself or in L.A. Sorry. Renting out some small B, C, D level theater, making thousands of dollars a week doing this. You know, selling yeah. it out, doing what he had to do. You know, so like, yeah, bro. I don't know, bro. Right. But listen, I I just think I I've been learning right now, and I don't mean learning, but just figuring out and kind of battling myself because I'm looking at my goals going forward for 2023, and I'm like, bro, there's a lot of um, artist integrity disguised as bitterness. Sorry, right, a lot of bit- bitterness. Disguise, disguise as, as artist integrity. Sometimes disguise is failure too. I, you know, because artist integrity could be you could use that as an excuse for why you never made it. You could use that as an excuse for why things didn't work out for I you. I never, I never gave in to the fucking yeah, the, the, the machine, the man, dude, exactly. the machine, yeah. dude. The machine never got me, bro. They never spit me out. I've always said that, yo, and I yeah. never got back bro, online, dude. Kevin, what did we say when we were watching that uh, that Patrice documentary? They had that one scene where he's like, oh, when on, he's bro, fi- when thing. he's filming, <laughs> when he's filming the uh, thing, and he just eating people alive, throwing the mop and everything. And I was like, bro, get the check. Like, bro, get the check. Sell the tickets. Oh. Like, do, fin- just do the shoot. You don't need to be a, you don't need to be a comic. That was funny. Kevin phrase. Bro, you don't need to be a comic right now. Oh, uh, yeah, bro. I'll be telling you. I That's honestly talk. some of the, some of the, the uh, some of the, so some of the, uh, the deaths of so many people who gets annoying. Like, hey, man, don't need to be a comic I was right just now. telling DC that uh, there's these comedians who like I don't think I've ever had a real conversation with them, like because they only want to listen. If that's you're a lot talking, of older comics. Yeah. That's so many older. Yeah, comics. like you can't have a conversation with them because like they're in their own world. They only want you to talk when it's directly correlated to the exact thing they have on their mind. Yeah. Right, and they won't look you in the eye and shit. They yeah. fucking start dancing. I'm like, yo, <laughs> all right, man, that was a good convo. I mean, it's a weird thing where. You, I'll, be, I'll, I'll go to the stand and you'll be in a circle with people and you'll just be talking to someone the circle and it'll be in the, like the circle it you'll be back. in a circle with people and like you'll exactly like, I remember I was like I know what you're talking about like, you're sitting there you're talking to someone they're like you could be asking about them and they start saying shit about you maybe uh, what you're doing that's when the phone comes out yup yeah 
that's when the I, I'm gonna go downstairs. And bro, I get it. I've done that to people. I've yeah. been there. I understand. But it's just a um. Oh, you're, you're not you're... past there. I can't look you in the eye. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You can't, can't look you in the eye. You know what's funny about comedy, bro. There's a weird thing where sometimes you gotta like remind people, like, yo, bro, I'm not going anywhere. Mm. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. I've been yeah. dropping gems. Is just, that? just in business. No, that, that was... Come on, I can't. I don't. You gotta change that drop because. I mean, that should, that, it, 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 yeah, but you can't it's, always drop that drop. Yeah, Fine, yeah. I'll pick another one. I'll get two. It needs to be like two or three of those. Okay, I'll get a couple. Yeah. A, a couple. Of, I feel a, like a I'm couple. on like KFC radio or some shit. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Coming to you live, huh? All right. Um, mm-hmm. my dad one time played a prank on me. <laughs> three million videos. Good Jesus. morning. Like, in, when I, like I work in this. In, Sorry, in, that, that bitterness came back. DC I, bitterness. I work in business. Like we work in a corporate in the corporate world and in the start in the startup world, right? Allegedly, and. They, everyone who's high up, they don't do that shit. These multi-millionaires that we know, mm-hmm. none of them are like only talking about them. They bro, fucking actively bro. listen to their employees. Bro, These, I had, I had some like a, an yeah, older comment. Sentence sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I had this. I mean, I felt like you got your point. Older people don't. <laughs> so I had this one, uh, one person go. <laughs> Kind of almost felt like I, 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 they shouldn't be taking advice from I a younger person, like right? I remember this uh, when I was younger. I was with my dad, who I respect a lot uh, for a lot of different reasons. But my dad's a great fucking businessman. I've been surrounded because of him around pretty crazy business ventures. I'm itching, and and then I know one. So he has a friend. I'm not gonna say who with the name. Great family friend. Everyone loves him. All the all the the kids are friends. All Donnie right? Hazoff. Uh, yeah, honestly, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Shut up. Um, they they would be on a boat, and my dad is quote unquote because like, like at this point, this is where I'm a little bit older, like 14, 15. So at this point, my dad's had money for like my whole life. I'm the youngest, so now for my life, he's been doing good, at least on and off good. At this point, it's good. We're on a boat, and my dad's trying to be nice. He's the guy's boat, and he goes, "Hey man, we get to the gasoline. I don't know if you've ever been on a boat and paid for gas on a boat. That motherfucker is not a car. <laughs> that shit's a six hundred dollar bill or something mm-hmm. like that. It's like a real not fun bill." Fills up the entire fucking thing. My dad goes, let me get it. The guy goes, no, no, no. Come on, man. He goes, dad goes, let me let me get it. And the guy in front of his child and his kids aren't even there. So he's just stunting on for me for no reason. Mm-hmm. For me and the gas attendant. Mm-hmm. And goes, come on, man. No, no, no. You don't want to do that to yourself. I know it's going to hurt. You don't want to do that to yourself. And I'm sitting there going like, I, I know this isn't going to like hurt my dad. Bro. Like, my dad just went, oh. put his thing in his wallet, sat back and goes, Whatever this is that you need, go for it. Whatever. Whatever what? Whatever this that you're doing, whatever you need, whatever this little like, ego game yeah, to yeah. pay the gas, that's what you need. And when I really understood it, one time the same thing, me, my brother, my dad, and that dude went to a steakhouse. That guy fought for the bill, fought for the bill. My dad goes, my sons are here. Please let me pay for it. Dude does a, a whole theatrical thing with the waitress and says little comments. My dad just eats it. And I'm sitting there going, Why? Like my, now I'm getting mad. This is a little, couple years down the line. Why will my dad stand up for himself? Why the fuck won't he stand up for himself and go down this dude's throat right now? It's homie, by the way. Because your wait, dad is like Donald Trump. Bro, my, okay. wait, wait, we, we get in the car. The tax laws are written there for a reason. All bro, right. we get in the car. The two cars come up. My dad has a black Range Rover. The dude has a white Range Rover. We're driving down the long road. My dad's just doing his little 45. And this dude does 80. <laughs> Way past us. My bro's in the front seat. I'm in the back. We're both... Look at my dad like, are you going to race him? Are you going to rev it up? Are you going to go catch him? What are you going to do? My dad, bro, it's no music in the car, nothing. My dad just points and goes, new money, old money. Mm. And I, look at my, I, I, I remember looking at my brother and there was a pin could have dropped in the car. And it was one of those weird things where you're like, bro, whatever this is that you're doing, you need this. You need a peacock. You feel whatever you feel because you need a peacock, and that's the biggest thing that I even have a problem with. Where it comes to ego and humbleness, my dad is the most like, "Hey, bro, what is go it? do you." But the go the, do but you. The punchline is, your dad was like, "Fuck it, just let him pay for it." Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At the same yeah, time, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the same like, oh, that, time. that way, much to you. By the way, the thing that no one ever talks about is my dad in his head was driving. He goes, 
New money, old money. <laughs> I'm so happy he paid for that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I've had plenty of moments where it's like I have my ego take over. Like this moment, of where course, I'm, where like I'm with my girl, and there's a moment at the restaurant where like they hand they don't put the check in the middle. You know how like some waiters put the check oh, yeah. in front of the man's thing, and then I do that on purpose. It was yeah. one of those moments where you don't like when they put it in front of you. No, no, no. It was one of those moments my girl, I, I've been paying for a bunch of okay. things, and my girl goes, baby, I got this one, okay? And then they put the check in front of me, and then for when, no, no, when the when my girl grabs it, I feel this fucking thing in my oh. chest. You know, that little embarrassment, my hairs go up, and then I'm, and then this guy's looking at me like he could steal my girl. That's how I feel can in I, my head. Like, this guy's can I tell you what if I you put it more in the center, it would have looked like she took it. <laughs> can I tell you what I do? I can get my girlfriend in here to even confirm it. Every time she's paying for the meal, my birthday dinner even, I go, yeah, you paying for this? She goes, yeah, I got this one. And it has nothing to do with, you know, we have our system. Yeah. But for that interaction right there, my girlfriend would go under the table, slide me her card. I put it in my wallet. Let's put it go. Back in. Yeah. My girl, went down. Let's this, bro. go. And when he comes, I look at him. It put it in front of me. I whip out my wallet. I pull out her Amex and go, my name's Kellen. Here you go. <laughs> Can I tell you something, though? So... I, I had a relationship where I uh, asked my girl if she could do that. But then, she all laughing in your face? No. <laughs> she just laughed. I felt worse about that. What? Yeah. Why? Because that showed my girl that my ego is so big, right? Fragile. That I It's so fragile yeah. hmm, that I can't take another man potentially thinking I'm down on my luck. Can I tell you something else? Something about down on your luck it's by the way. It's also manhood, though. It's a man. Bro, by the way, when I was dating person, an older girl, one of the things that got me above and beyond was for some reason, bro, and just because it's just me, bro. I'm also like oddly like traditional sometimes. It must be the Israeli in me. When uh, I was even dating an older girl, we go to a restaurant. I'd say, "Hey, what do you want?" And she would tell me. And bro, I just got into the rhythm of like remembering it. I would say it in my head, and the waiter would come over and be like, "I would, I'll take the this, this, this." She'll take the this, this, this. We'll drink again. Oh, yeah. She'll take the midnight sunrise. Another story about how dope still it is. <laughs> <laughs> how is that dumb? No, dope. 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 Oh, dope. <laughs> he. <laughs> <This guy. laughs> you know what? That, every time Dylan tells a great story about himself. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's about to be ringing. <laughs> it's on a loop. <laughs> hey, son. Um, no, but like, it's not even dope. It's just like, it, it is that is that sounds small. I get what you mean. Like, though. what if she, but not to say what well, she's into it, but like, bro, like it's not it's not a fragile. I did that it, once. It's not, it's not fragile mean? if they're into it. They're if it, it, no, it's taking it, charge. It's what they like. Yeah, like, like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're conflating two different arguments. No, you're saying this. You're, listen, first of all, DC, this bump mic. Don't do that. Move away. Come on. You're conflating two different arguments. One of the arguments Al- is just saying... Arguments. <laughs> arguments. <laughs> it's an algorithm Boston, argument. I think it's from Boston now, bro. Math arguments. <laughs> arguments. All right, we can't get this out. All right. Two One of the arguments. things you're saying is that with this older chick, you order her food, right? She <laughs> paid for it, by the way. Yeah, but I had... And then the other one is you're slipping your car. I mean, your girl slipping her car underneath the table. Yeah, this I like both stories. Two different, this nigga always, down bad. This <laughs> like nigga comedian, always got bro. a punchline though. I like how he says all that. Yeah, I just take charge and you ordered this. This get her what she wants. Pay for it though. <laughs> hey, bitch, pay for it though. <laughs> You know what I mean? Hey, yo, pimp hand strong. My bitch is paid for this my dude shit. This is a dickhead, bro. Oh, by the way, you, say, you, you know I look mean? like the fucking man, nah, but guess what? This dude bitch is paid for this nah, shit. Nah, nah, like, yo, yo by the way, like, yo, I'll fuck with Timberlands. Yo, get it by this. The way. Get it a cock pow chicken. Get it this. Get it what she wants. Get me this. You know what I said? Hey, baby, pull your card out. When I was dating, he even orders that, bro. <laughs> Yo, when I was dating the older girl, after she paid, you know what I would say? <laughs> On her. New money, old oh money. money. <laughs> I'm done. Bro. New money, oh. old money. Oh my god. Yo, son. Hey, yo, order this, order that. City Shit's on her, up, son. Up, City up, boys up. up. Two thousand points. Yeah. By the way, by the way, the, the, I will Good say, you, I will say. I don't think we did the under the table thing on that relationship. So it is really funny to be city boys up. She'll take this. Get her the wine. All right, sir. Here's the thing. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Get that that goes to her. Yeah, right, that's her. That's that goes to her, bro. Hey man, I was just talking. <laughs> you know, my, you know what she said to me one time? We went for a birthday dinner, and uh, I, went to, I wanted to pay for. This it. was a different girl. No, this is the same older chick, and uh, I paid for the birthday dinner. I was wanting to. It was like an expensive rest, uh, Mexican restaurant, and she goes, 
no, I don't want you to spend all this money. I go, I got it, I got it. It's your birthday. She goes, Dylan, I want you to be able to pay rent and you're not living at my apartment. And I was like, well. Oh, That's how much the fucking bill was? Do you know how much the bill was? Yeah. <laughs> Say it. It can't be that like, crazy. It's like $600? $300. Like, 600 bucks is just Yatsu? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck were y'all, were y'all ordering drinks? Fajitas. Just fajitas? fajitas? This better be bro. some goddamn good fajitas. Bro, you, what are you talking about? You Yo, order. This is, what, this is what I don't like about New York City. Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. It was like, it was like four or five. It was like, four, like, oh, wow. like, I'm like with tip five. Um, like five up there. Oh, and you brought the birthday candle out, saying happy birthday and shit. Um, I think so. I actually don't fully remember. I'll be real with you. Actually, I got a little lit that night. Yeah. Okay, so there's some drinks involved. Yeah, oh, no, hundred percent some drinks involved. Okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. unbelievable. I went out with my you girl. You already mad I didn't invite you or something? No, no. Oh, he said, unbelievable. No, the price. Was just I like, went no. out with my girl not too long ago. This shit was... I love my girl because my girl is as cheap as me. My girl don't like spending money. She goes... And she don't like when other people are spending money. See, my girl's the opposite. All she do is spend my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, your girl doesn't like spending her money, probably. Well, I... No, no, no. no she, like, she doesn't... Like, she'll tell me that you're, you're old in. Cause I love spending money, bro. Bro, my girl's taste does not equate. To I'm her cheap, but I love spending money. Does that make sense? Doesn't yeah. bother your ego that your girl's like, yo, chill out. You're like, yo, shut the fuck out. Yo, if I want to spend five dollars, I'm gonna spend five. Nah, bro, I'll be thanking God. I'll be like, thank yeah. God, I got a bitch like this. But we were at a restaurant, bro. bro my girl's taste buds are too elegant for a financial situation. <laughs> you gotta bring that up, son. I do all the you time. You gotta bring that up. I mean, what financial <laughs> situation? Y'all niggas eat McDonald's every day, bro. Uh, I, 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 by the way, that's like the one cheap meal she will eat. Yeah. Order, like, that's why we eat it all the time. Yeah. Like, it's like it's like nuggets. it's McDonald's. What happened to that app? Uh, uh, I'll be real with you. I mean, it, it becomes hassling. I'll be real with you. It becomes hassling. Like, so I found an app where you can get really cheap food in New York, but like you got to go pick it up. Now it's cold as dick. And I'll be real with you. I make food at home now. I mean, I'll be making a lot of fish. I made I made four. I made fish four times this week for, for dinner. By the way, I all enjoyed it. it. Wasn't like I'm down bad. Air right? fryer. Uh, no, I pan, fr- I pan fry that shit. Ooh, okay, my boy's stepping it up. Look I do the air fryer. Uh, pan fry. Mm. Mm. So, wait. What, pan my, smeared? Uh, I'm going to finish this thing. <laughs> what the fuck is pan smeared? Do we have a nigga smeared See, a you pan? You seared? That's when, that's when a Jew pan slips seared? his face on the pan. Is it? <laughs> hey, I just, I just smeared his fish. I just smeared his fucking body on smeared this. Smeared his fish. After, I sh- after that, I stooped my girlfriend. <laughs> Stop, you're not allowed to say stup. You I can't say stup. No. I love stup. You don't even say it. You say it wrong every time. <laughs> no. How do you say no, it? Wait, wait, I say schlep wrong. DC, you're anti-Semitic. <laughs> no, uh, when I, I came in here, stup. I added a um. I you can know, on my uh, actually saw my Instagram. So it was on my stories. I added in a bodega like drink dispenser in the top of my fridge. So when you take a drink, it like auto like pushes up the rest of the the drinks. Yeah. And I show them, I go, yo, is it, how cool is this? My, my, my fridge is like a bodega. And DC goes, yo, next time we're going to come in here, there's going to be a, a penny dispenser for the drinks. And I go, a quarter. I go, hey, bro, that's an anti-Semitic ass <laughs> joke. <laughs> no, it's, no, that's a cheap joke. No, that's not. Really with anti-Semitism. By the way, by the way. I, but you the way, made it anti-Semitism. Because I'm allowed to. No, you made I'm it. I'm allowed anti- to take it cor- uh, incorrectly. No, 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 you can't just make up anti-Semitism. Yeah. Yeah. I get, it's anti-Semitic to the Arabs, too, though. Yeah, he could have just been like, "Yo, it's like my black home." You know, that's we, racist. Then we mad cheap, but then that's you know? racist. I'm just no. I'm just saying. How come black people and I'm Jews just saying, are known for being cheap? <laughs> I think maybe, immigrants are cheap too. Maybe, maybe Kanye. No, yeah. <laughs> I was just saying it'll just be hilarious. Stop it. it had nothing to do. Maybe they all had the nothing rich. to do with your culture. Da, 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 da. That sounds like rap. And by me. the way, <laughs> you, the, your culture doesn't do bodegas. Where? Sound like, sound like mumble rap. Ha, da, 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 da. Hey yo, hey yo, what? I'm what so is, confused what is about Yiddish? what's happening. <laughs> Yiddish is <laughs> Russian Hebrew. Mumble rap. No, Why what? does Yiddish kind of say Yiddish? <laughs> I don't get it. Yo, what did Kanye name his next album? Yiddish. Yeezus. Yiddish. 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 Yeah, I'm changing my name. I'm no longer yay. I'm Yiddish. Yiddish. I'm Yiddish. Bound. I'm Yeshua. To. <laughs> Yeshua. <laughs> Bound to being anti-Semitic. Whoa, heavy, heavy stuff. <laughs> heavy okay. stuff. I mean, listen. I'm just <laughs> saying. What are you saying? Tell us. I don't like that I can't be mad. I, I, I'm, I don't like that I Tell can't us call my that out an anti-Semitic joke. I don't think it, it wasn't anti-Semitic, though. How? It's just saying you as a person is cheap. 
No, you, you, but I, I, no. As a person, I'm Jewish. No. Yeah. yeah but... <laughs> also, by the way, also when DC gave it to me, he he gonna, by the way, you missed it because you were getting a drink. He said, next time you come in here, there's going to be a penny in the slot. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I did not do that. He keeps saying penny. He keeps saying penny. I said a quarter. There's going to be a, a, a quarter, a slot for quarters. That's what I was going to say. That's even more Jewish. I raised the price. No. <laughs> This guy's stupid, man. This guy's <laughs> he unbelievable. Was, he was no, don't. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you guys are idiots, man. I am. T- Why am but, I saving your phone as two can dill? Two two can dill. I don't get. I don't even get that two can. Oh, you drink? Oh, you're a double fister. Can you do me a favor? Can you give me a seltzer? Oh, is that two can Sam? Two can. Two can. Two, you, 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 you're you're you double fisted. Two can. No, two can the bird, bro. Two can with the beak. Yeah. Not two can like two Bud Lights in a hand. I hate him, bro. That's what, as he said, two can. Is it was a bird reference or no? Nah, but I'm not familiar. That's a. I, I'm not hey, familiar hey, with hey, birds. hey, Dylan. Hey, Dylan. I'm not familiar hey, with Dylan, birds. Hey, Dylan. Hey, Dylan. Dylan. Hey, DC. Hey, DC. Dylan. Hey, DC. 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 Uh, 41 minutes in. Let's do some plugs. Let's get through it. Guys, go follow at Doped Up Comedy oh. on all platforms. Yo, uh, absolutely. This dude just ran out and called me a fat fuck. Oh, really? Bro. That's what he did? I forgot about 14 in March. Yo, he people. People, yo, people, by the way, yo, D, people like s- hurting my feelings, dog. <laughs> is he and me? Yo, we gotta add that as uh, we gotta add that as a drop. Is um, you know, you almost what's, what's my age again? Like, what's my age again? What's my age again? We make so many dumb jokes where it's like, are we thirteen? Oh, uh, dude, you know you almost touched my dick earlier in this wow. episode <laughs> by accident or yeah, purpose? Yeah, by accident. <laughs> you could have the whole you, episode you without bringing that in. My up. leg, and I was like, that was mad close to my cock. <laughs> <laughs> Like He's thinking hands long oh, as shit. By the way, I think I know the moment. I can, I can clip it for you. I'll do that. Whoa, whoa. That's what she said at birth. <laughs> I What's can... my age? <laughs> hey. Oh, come on. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one, dude. He's good... out of here. I'm a bo- I was an abortion survivor. <laughs> so I was... By the way, go watch Kevin's hey, go abortion watch clip, Go watch Kevin's abortion story clip. Okay, not the plugs. Sorry, Natalie. She's going to hate Don't... By the way, shout out Natty Ice. Natty Ice. Guys, uh, uh, Natty Ice on the ones and twos. Thank you for editing this episode. Um, you can turn the music back on now around this time. I don't know. She's probably still playing. I'm sorry, Natalie. Guys, go follow he, he at Dope Dub Comedy. Go follow the page. You can do at Dope Dub Comedy for literally everything. You can do you, www.youtube.com slash at Dope Dub Comedy. We show up. That's our page. Go on Instagram. Do it there. Go to Dope Dub Comedy Club on Twitter. Uh, Dope Dub Comedy on Twitter. Go there. We have all the stuff. We have all the club stuff. If you're in New York, if you're in Philly, if you're in Jersey, do come hang out at the club. We're doing shows every Thursday and Sunday. They're popping off. We have literally big shows coming. And also, we have a really uh, cool thing coming. I can finally announce. I mean, I think I announced it already. We're going to be in Time Out New York. So shout out to Dope Dope Comedy Club and Dope Dope Comedy for being in Time Out New York. Thank you, Time Out New York, for partnering with us. That's Thank amazing. You, and guys, make sure to go follow me at uh, Dylan J. Negri. And follow all my socials, Twitter, uh, Instagram. Go follow me. I'm posting a lot more reels recently. Bro, I had the mo- the first positive follower week in like six months since positive I... Positive follower week? What does that mean? He gets a lot of hate follow. No, positive. No, like... Oh. Oh. Yo, he's... <laughs> I mean, he's on one. <laughs> yo, Bo, Bo, Bo. Yo, wait, wait. You, do, yo, yo, you yo. do weirdly get hate follow, bro. You know, you know what that is? That's true. That's a double on Tanja. <laughs> no, that's a conundrum. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> How do you keep getting followers, Dylan? How do you keep getting followers? No, so go follow me, guys, and um, seriously, go follow, support the podcast and everything. Kevin Sanchez, Wild Kevin Sanchez on Instagram, Wild Kevin Sanchez on Twitter, and uh, that's it. DC Williams, DC Williams <laughs> comedy on Instagram. That's it. Keep it tight like that. You know what I'm saying? I fight like that because uh, I write like, like that. that. Or uh, I write like that because I'm uh, nice like, like that. that. Ooh. Guys, go support Dope oh, Up and, baby. and support all the people here. Oh, baby. Um, I'll be real with you, boys. Yeah. Well, I think we need to do one of these a week. One of these uh, I think we. I think, I think 2023, we open up the Patreon officially and do one of these a week. We are all going to regret this, but I it's going to be this. fun. I'm going to say this. I, I would do this. I would do this once a week for a dual episode. We can record. I don't want it Let's to be on Patreon because we're not there yet for Patreon. Okay. But I would do this. I would do one more of these a week. 
on the weekend. I can't call out of work at 4 p.m. I would like for us to another, talk about this on another the podcast, week. though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. That's, true. that's also true. Oh, that's, fine, that's fine. That's fine. That's fair. I'm just saying is I think we should bring it up to the fans even because when I say Patreon, you got to understand something. With more funds, we can do more fun. But also, we are a podcast that can go to any city. I can make a show happen in any city, yes or no. Ooh. I can make a show happen in a, in, a, oh, in, a, in yeah, any city. Okay. That shit out right now. So okay. if you support the Patreon, bro, I already had a fan hit us up and go, hey, man, I know everyone in the city. I'll make a show happen. We can get people at the show. But I'll do a show anywhere. But Say I'll- I want to do a show in fucking Ranch Cucamonga. <laughs> I'll do, yo, I'll yo, fucking, fine. yo, we, niggas will come to Albany. Albany. We'll go to, what's that, what's that place? And then let me tell you something about Yo, Albany. we'll go to Gainesville, Florida. I don't even know what's uh, in Gainesville, Florida. Yeah, we do our shit in the swamps, huh? Right. Son. We do it for the swamp people. I brought this idea up, and now I'm bad now. <laughs> Yo, no, but um, I also want to uh, uh, show you guys. We should do a big show in Miami, though, for real. No, no, no we, I mean Miami's a little weird. But, uh, no, 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 no. We got so uh, we got we got we okay. can do it. We could do it. I, I was hiding right, this. Latin night have so kept me, headline. I was hiding I this. With the, I was hiding this with the jackets, and I kind of want to get you guys' reaction to this. <laughs> Okay, I did see so some I know Legos. You guys out never there. get a Christmas present, so I got you guys Are you bro, serious, a dual you, Christmas present. This, bro. I got you guys a five hundred dollar. I know that's not true. Look up the price, bro. No, no, I know. It's, I know no, the you're price is right. You're you guys are gonna build know, this together. I, I know for a fact you did not get me and DC this. You got this from like a YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> you stole you this. From, this you stole this from underprivileged kids. <laughs> nah, dude, they're privileged. <laughs> Where'd you get this They're shit privileged from, like, for To see me for a moment They were like Damn, oh, dude, I love gas no, 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 no. I liked it better before When you just robbed children <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah Shut up uh, Alright, what is, what is this, Dylan? This gift is, this 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 is giving me anxiety is, a little bit I'm not gonna lie to you How long is this gonna take you to build? This is gonna take you guys We're not building this Yes, you are No, we're not Bro, what the? Buddy. Yes, you are, Dylan. If yeah. Dylan, if that costs Dylan, five hundred dollars, we're putting it on eBay and we're spending it on ads. No, um, <laughs> you guys are gonna build this as a friend event, and um, Dylan, I don't, I didn't have a childhood. Now you I mean, did. You had some Hot Wheels, nigga. Damn, I did have Hot Wheels. Come on, everybody had Hot Wheels. You at and least also, had Hot Wheels. Also, 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 also. What was the off-brand Hot Wheels? Do you remember? No, oh, um. <laughs> They just, just to get they didn't have names. They didn't they're have they're names? just off brand. Yeah, it was, it was some of those wheels. cars are fire. And and just to get you guys bro. started, I even got you individual this sets. Fucking guys lying. I, I even got you guys right individual now. sets. I'm so upset he's doing this on camera. Me too, dude. I'm not lying. This is not ours. I know it's not ours. So DC, you're a little bit more. I sound like uh, a little kid who's like, I know you didn't give me a yo, present. <laughs> why are you guys so hurt? What is? Why are you guys so like traumatized? These are yours. These are your items. What I are spent you the money about? with you guys in mind. You're lying. This I guy's guess. such a good liar, dude. Oh my god, <laughs> That's dude. A troll, bro. What happened? Have I actually touched it again? <laughs> no, for this time you did touch it with your elbow. I didn't feel it. Long ass elbow. <laughs> I didn't feel it. It was my balls though. That's why it was so small. Man, your balls uh, so oh no, no, no. But uh, DC, you're more of like a little crazy. elf. You're wearing green right now. That one's for you. And um, <laughs> Kevin, you're built like a house, so I got you this one. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm, I, You're stressing me out, bro. I, I disagree with your gift. gift. No. So, so, what, you, what is, who hurt you? What are you saying? You're stressing me out with the gifts, Yo, bro. who hurt me? You know my story. <laughs> who hurt me? The doctor tried. The doctor tried. The doctor my mom. mom tried. The doctor, doctor tried. My, instructed by my mom. My foster mom did. So, here, here's the house of brick. Look, you can even build one, two, three, four, five. I like the dinosaurs. I ain't gonna lie to you. You wanna build that one? You can build that one. That one's yours. They're all yours. <laughs> This guy's crazy, yo. I don't know why he's doing this. This is yours. This is yours. That, look, 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 we all got our own ones. This one's mine. That's the one I want. You can have it. I don't believe this guy. You can have all of them. I really don't believe him. He's unbelievable. He is unbelievable. Yeah. What is this? What are you doing? <laughs> he's well, happy. Are you trying to, like, flaunt right now? Are you trying no. to hurt our feelings? I'm married. He's trying to hurt our feelings, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to he knows we don't get I, gifts. I, guys. Guys, I, guys, I've what never, I just started I've never crying. given someone. A, I've picture. never given someone a gift. I've never given people a gift and gotten yelled at for it. This is wild. <laughs> That's why I have anything to say. I just want pe- the viewers to see what my friends say when I give them gifts for the first this time. This is not real. He's gonna take this back. 
No, I'm not. Yes, he is. Evan, these are yours. No, they're not, dude. <laughs> you know, I sound like a fucking really depressed child. <laughs> Carolyn, <laughs> come here. No, she's gonna. Don't no, she's not. She, but I love my girl. I don't think she's that quick. <laughs> Yes or no? Did I not buy these as Christmas gifts for DC and Kevin? I bought this one for me, the house one for Kevin because he's built like a house, and the elf one for DC. I he's winking. Look at her. Look, I'm looking at him. Know. I don't know. I don't know. And then watch. Kevin goes, well, I want that one. I said, buddy, it's yours too. Take it. He goes, I don't believe you. You're going to take it back once the episode ends. I, I, can, is, is it real or not? It's real. Buddy, they're I yours. Really you. Thank you, baby. I love you. I don't believe you too. He has a co- in <laughs> yeah. you, think, you think she's been in there waiting for this so moment of the podcast? No, no, I but I believe it? that she would say I yes to anything you said. Remember that's a good. That's honestly a great argument, actually. <laughs> Solid <laughs> argument. Buddy, um, which right. you, you want to start building it now? Me. No, I don't. Not right now. What? Do you not want it? I feel really awkward. Why? I don't know. I just Is feel. This awkward. your first present ever? No, come on, bro. You but, can't say your life. Your, your life's a present because. <laughs> That shit almost got taken away from you too. <laughs> God gave me another. No, I've gotten presents as a kid. Yo, God like I had to earn life. Yo, <laughs> yo, God's the only person that Indian gave your life, bro. Wanna, you wanna had hear, your life was you the wanna, Indian gave. You want to hear a sad story? No, I want to know why you won't no. accept my Lego. Presents. I don't believe because I don't believe you. What do you mean I don't? Legos. You don't believe me? So wait, you do or don't want the big set? Because I have to return that. Now. I am so confused about what's going on right now, dude. <laughs> what's why do you mean I was hiding it? When you it, came in, I had to like rush. It was all hidden. It's Christmas. It is the Thanksgiving doped up pre Christmas episode. Yo, Kevin's hat too small for his head. <laughs> <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, you can't focus. You got a gift. Why is your gift over there? I, I just wanted to sit and I just wanted to be yeah. out there. Dylan, um, where do you think this is going? No, this is. The, where do you think this is going? We've been talking heart? for six weeks. <laughs> uh, no, like, you know, like, we can't build anything, right? What? Uh, trust me, I know. I've seen the podcast. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why did you say we can't build anything? What's wrong with you? I don't know why so we build a comedy trash, club every dude. week. Damn, bro! You think myself is theme trash? By the way, by the way, can I say that's the best thing about this relationship? These fr- this friendship is all of our self esteem can be trash sometimes. But the second we're self esteemed in front of the other person, and then they also shit on us, we're like, "Bitch, I'm better than all, all of you. I'm the best." What are you talking about? I'm Kevin Sanchez. It's true. Yeah, yeah. I am the best. But Kevin, I'm yeah. being real with you. I don't Those believe, are yours. I don't believe you at all. Do you guys want to share? Or Kevin, do you also just want the roller um, coaster? I don't believe you spend seven hundred dollars on us for, for Christmas. That's the thing, buddy. That's, that's why it was so believe. hard to stay quiet earlier when you talking about the gifts. I was like, do I do it now or do I wait? I think because um, I was like, I don't know if it's better I'm to let wait. you know right now. I'm getting you a T-shirt. <laughs> this is also the T-shirt you're getting me is the one I left at your house. <laughs> You've never been to my house. And that's you a really gotta go with the boot. You could have just lied. It was I want moment. them to know oh, that you're a bad friend yeah. I want to who won't go to the Bronx. Next year, I'm giving you the gift of comedy. Because <laughs> <laughs> you stink. That was that was Dylan good. is afraid of ethnic people. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was the funniest. Ethnic people give him anxiety. <laughs> is, that, is that my gift? You guys just tell me I'm 40? <laughs> well, relax. <Jesus> Christ. <laughs> He's a make a wish. Com- comedian so. <laughs> I'm a make a wish comedian I mean, I'm changing my lower thirds now <laughs> Make a wish comic Make a wish comic right here dude That's pretty wow. funny But no this is uh, Duffer what are you doing with all these Legos Guys Merry Christmas <laughs> I don't believe this guy <laughs> I feel so These are make a wish comic right, I feel guys, like we're like um, make a wish podcast Is this over? That, yeah that's 50, this is That it? is an hour So guys, That was an hour? Well, thank I you for like it just thank you guys for coming good. to the podcast. This is Dota Been Dying, dude. The I feel like I didn't want to Sunday this morning end. smoke this show. Like a waste of time, dude. and um, she's <laughs> like it should be another. Time you guys are gonna go no, go home now. Take your Legos. I can't take that. I'm going to the projects. You, you, but you have to take the big I'm one. Def- I'm I need it out of my I'm apartment. You know right I'm now. leaving at four in the morning to go to Florida. Something, bro, oh, that's yeah. gonna stay here. Yeah, it really is. That's gonna stay. Well, it's yours, and it's you gotta get that. Nah, I got. I'm getting on the train. I guys, Dota Been Dying. We'll figure this out. Goodbye. Oh uh, yeah, you got these aren't yours. Yeah, of course not. No, yeah, Thank no. You. I, I want that on the episode. Thank by the way. God, <laughs> you got nieces and nephews. Sure. They're yours. Yo, by the way, by the way, DC just said all of that. He just said funny shit. Yeah, he did all of it. Talking like this. <laughs> I've never met a worse. 
fucking podcaster. We're still filming? To his defense, it did look yes. like we, we stopped. No, no, no. We're, we're still filming. I was joking. Oh, I didn't I just know. wanted to end and then look. Roll at sound. Me. By the way, I'm still joking. They are yours. <laughs> I'm still joking. Nah, what, what are we doing, bro? I, is it I'm trying to give you a fucking gift. <laughs> this, this, what do you mean? What are we doing? I'm trying to give you a fucking this, gift, DC. You just said it's what you said it was real, though. It's As not a real. Joke, I was ending the podcast. We're at 55 fucking minutes. We needed an hour. I lied. I lied. I. You're just joking. So I look at Kevin and go, no, really goes. And he goes, I know. I go, buddy, no, I'm joking. Kevin, you really got to take that home. I don't want it in my house. That's why I, you, the bag is over there for you. Dude, I feel like this deja is, vu, bro. <laughs> this is why. I'm going to let you know Why right can't you accept nice things? I don't, first of all, I don't believe you. I don't get why you don't believe me. I don't. You know what it is? Because this is only, you gave us gifts you will only give to yourself. By the way, that also sounds exactly how Dylan Negri would give bro. gifts. I huh? gotta get this. I gotta get this for you when you come back, bro. Talking to the mic. I gotta get this for you when we you come end. back. We gotta end. We gotta end. Tired. By the way, I'm trying DC's to figure out for DC's been working this since this nine going. o'clock, and I get it. I'm not even gonna blame. I can't even be mad at him this time. But buddy, they're yours. Do you want me to show you the receipts? Like, what do you want? What do you want from me? Dylan got you the best Christmas gifts you've ever gotten in your life. So sorry. I want to thank you, Mama Negri, for getting me these gifts. I know it wasn't your son. I know it was you. Okay, so I don't understand. I know how much your son makes. He can't afford all this. And this is like an us. episode of Seinfeld, dude. It does. Where Seinfeld's like, like you know, now I'm stuck with he gave me the gifts. Now I'm stuck with the gifts. Now I'm stuck with the gifts. I gotta bring the gifts. I don't home. want the gifts. I don't want to bring the gifts. You gotta bring the gifts, man. You want I don't have to. <clears throat> but they 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 gave you a problem. This guy's is the gift. Now I gotta build these Legos. <laughs> Oh my no, god. No, I gotta build the Legos. Literally high feel right now. Yeah, build the Legos. Uh, will you he's guys, coming over. Will you guys build the Legos and track your progress for Dope Dope? What do you mean by track your progress? Like this video up? Like you, gotta, you, gotta, like, you gotta build them. You gotta like take a picture when you're done. This dude Dylan stresses me out, dude. Why why does this stress you out? It's a gift. Like gift uh, I'll take it back if it stresses you out. I don't, I don't even know who you're joking right now. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I kinda need a good bit. <laughs> well, however it ends is a good yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, a, I'm really proud of guys. It seems like a bit, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's such a good bit, dude. Honestly, I can't believe you're getting so much better at this, dude. You bit me. This guy. Me. Honestly, can I tell you something? I want you to clip this out oh, because this, we're so becoming much. YouTubers, and I'm proud of Yo, it. Yo, Simity Sam. I'm, 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 I spent so much money on y'all, y'all. Are you about to cry? Bro, yo, yo, he's crying, dog. I can't. I spent so much money yo, on yo, he's really crying. Bro. I think, I so nah, I think Dylan's. I think Dylan can finally act, bro. <laughs> yo, dude. I really think so. Bro. <laughs> I'm not joking. He's making his voice joking. croaky and shit. Yo, he's crying. He's wet in his eyes. His eyes get a little. Wet. Oh, I'm not. I can't cry. <laughs> eyes are wet. Okay, wetting the eyes a little bit. Yo, I, I want to see a tear drip. I want to see a tear drip. Honestly, this guy belongs in the circle. Let me see a drip. I, I, this guy truly This is my audition for the, the circle. circle. These are my fucking Legos, you fucking nerds. <laughs> oh, God. I've been able to fake cry since I was a child. You it's fucking like, goof. Um, no, my, me and my girl are into the Legos goof. now. Nigga, literally, bro. Honestly, I bro. Hey, I, by the way, by the son, way, every time I go to the stand, no. I get a text from my girl being like, I'm sitting hey, home hey, alone. for real? For real? I get her to Are these your Legos? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, bro, because I was so angry. <laughs> bro, I was so upset that you were giving that to me, bro. Why? <laughs> because I was annoyed that you thought I was going to take that home tonight. I was annoyed that I had to figure out what I'm going to do with that. <laughs> all of it was all of it was annoying to me, bro. <laughs> Yo. You were not going to lie to you. By the way, he woke up. I think he might have actually been a mad Son. and annoyed. Yeah, he was really upset. I was trying because I like, didn't know if he was short or not. That's why I was just like. Dylan, I'm, I'm so not gonna say you. anything right that now. That was a dude. good ten minutes. That was like, good, bro. That was a really was it good, a good ride, ride guys. Oh. Oh. I don't know. If, do I, not say that this. You're joking. These are ours. You can't say that after this, dude. Oh, by the way, I gotta give you. By the way, I spent. If the, you are your psychopath, th- these three are yours. <laughs> no, Dylan, I gotta be real. No, with you. I, I bought the big hey, one. Hey guys, for, guys, I hold up, hold up, hold up. I bought the big one for me. I got those for y'all. Hold up, hold up, please, please. I got. I'm gonna do something that you're gonna love. He legit had tears in his eyes, and that was they were wet. They were wet. Impressive. His lids were wet. That was mad impressive. <laughs> wet his say? lids. His lids was wet. He wet his lids. <laughs> lids was wet. You know, he wet his lids. That was pretty impressive. I'm really, you know, I never, I never told, I never told you guys about that. I can't cry on command. On command. Mm-hmm. Um, really? What you used to do? That you do that on OnlyFans? Or what? He's telling you to go home. <laughs> 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 hey, buddy, buddy. 
Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> um, do I do that on OnlyFans? I'm sorry, OnlyFans and show only. I heard a buttholes. comedian say, "I want to see those tears fall down your cheekbones." I heard what? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see your hand. I want to see your Dylan. hand Dylan. building those Legos. I want to see twenty dollars, Dylan. Cheek. I want to see your black hands oh. build some Legos. <laughs> It's your black ass on the black holes. <laughs> by the way, by the way, our episodes are getting better and better. Dude. Yo, the, the fab episodes are getting better and better. Uh, that's why we gotta do one a week. Fab bro. episodes be crying. Can, fa- can I ask you a question? Do you think our fan episodes. No, ask me no questions. <laughs> Hey, yo, y'all about to get y'all about No to, more interviews, by the way. By the way, by the way, by the way that's how dumb DC is. <laughs> DC would get his first interview and first question. So, DC, where'd you come from? No more, no more interviews. No, no more questions. Oh, oh, that was too early. I got to wait five years in to start. Yo, oh. DC, by the way, DC, oh. when he loses his career early. back in the crib, he goes, so I hit that a little early, huh? Oops. <laughs> I Kanye a little early. I got to wait till the show's hot before I quit. Make oh. the money, <laughs> then Kanye. <laughs> oh, shit. That's Yo, shout, wild. By the way, shout out to my girl for long. I thought you were to say shout out to Kanye. I was about to say, whoa, hot take, Dylan. Hot nah, take. Nah, 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 nah. I don't. Dylan's really mad at Kanye. Dylan, Mostly because you, I can't wear my Yeezys. Where's fucking Yeezys at, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Who's mad at Kanye, bro? Let me by the way, by, no, shut up. By the way, that's why I'm mad. The, the, by the way, the he Jew in me them. is mad at Kanye because he talked shit about Jews, which made me, it anti-Semitic for me to wear my own shoes. Yeah, but nobody knows you're Jewish on, like... I can't even wear my own shoes that I spent money on. I'm mad at you for making my money now worthless. You killed the stock of my shoe. But also gave you something valuable. You could flip those for probably the same price. A little fifty dollars you could probably make on those shoes. Oh, whole fifty. Mm. You can make way more money than that. Now. Deals, 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 deals. You see, this is why you got a Lego set. You got to think about time <laughs> management. But well, honestly, this is what I wanted to do in high school instead of actual like shit. It'd be like the the that sped class would be doing shit like this, but I'd be like yo. They're actually Why are you so engineering. Mad about the gift, though? I don't understand. It's it's not a gift. It's <laughs> That's not a, good a gift. Point. It's, it's That's a good your point. friend being an asshole, and it's disguised as a gift, and it's an inconvenience to you. That's not true. Which is hilarious. But like I, I the idea I'm of gifting something serious, someone I, inconvenient I, I, I is, is hilarious. We're, we're grown adults. Like, we I'm in my thirties. I'm not building anything with Lego. I'll tell you this much though. I if am, I was rich, I would. You know. I am. Um, I think after this though, you guys are 100 percent getting Christmas gifts this year. Uh, after this year, all right. Don't look me in the eye. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Am I blowing you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no sentimental. <laughs> Love. I, <laughs> by the way, by the way, D- this is why. Like when we were at a house party and that dude went, "Yo, y'all mean to DC." I see why he's so down on himself. Like, no, no, no. He's just like that. That's true. Yeah. Yo, I don't know what y'all talking about. Maria Tobin was like Well all I know is This guy oh, loves, I, I, loves all, saying people's names <laughs> All I know is that All I know is And DC doesn't And this is a song He keeps coming like Dick and vagina Hey man Shout out to Kev's eyebrows bro You know what I'm saying It's gorgeous Gorgeous Very gorgeous And I'm not even joking I think like the tears That run down DC's face When his mom doesn't come For his birthday Nah they thinking than this bitch I smashed last week That's <laughs> 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 a bitch Think it in your eyebrows, nigga. Oh shit! <laughs> By the way, it was really that's funny. Really funny if you started crying. With it. <laughs> Yo, I miss my girl. Though. I could cry on command too. Yo, but what if you like? No, I'm okay. What I'm saying. What if I like got you? A, like, what's a good gift for DC? Honestly, bro. <laughs> like, what's a gift if I got you? You'd be like, oh, bro, you honestly touched my heart. <laughs> Other than getting you famous, as I'm already trying to do every day of my life. I was gonna say stage time. <laughs> I already do. I also already do. Um, that. I don't re- honestly, bro. I I don't really need anything. I just need I just need to make more money. Hug. <laughs> a hug. No, I don't need a hug. I need a hug. <laughs> we just leave him in silence. Mm-hmm. Why do you? Why are we letting him make that so sad, dude? Kevin? All right, you know what I need. You know what I need. All right, All you know right, I'll tell uh, you what I fucking need. I will give you a ride. I will give you a ride. Idea. You gotta give me a, um, a present idea. Everyone present gets a present. Idea. Honestly, bro. I, I don't have I'm not like a I'm not like that bro I don't have like Feelings and emotions To receive gifts Nah I just don't I don't have that need I don't think need. about What other people Should get me Yeah I don't Kevin what's, <laughs> a, gift, what's a good you gift You nailed for it you? bro You nailed it What's a good gift For you guys You guys have to Receive a gift this year What is it Yo don't tell me What I need to receive son Honestly, like that. why are you so homophobic bro <laughs> She's saying Forcing I'm me to receive not. shit bro Oh look at Doing. I'm, I'm homo for it. I don't know what I want for Christmas, but I tell you what I want for Hanukkah. Right, that's seven days of gift giving. Right, eight, eight. 
Thank you for correcting me, my brother. You, so I'll let you know what brother. I want. I mean, I, 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 why are you saying my brother? Hey, hey, listen, 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 listen. listen. Well, hey, hey, don't talk about like that. Listen, listen, my evil brother. Listen to me, bro. I'm saying this for the eight days of Hanukkah. Can I give, tell you the eight gifts I want for the days? Yeah, go ahead. Come up I'm only eight? trying to respect your traditions, bro. That's funny. Do you think the black Israelites know there's eight days of Hanukkah? Do you think it's just like Christmas is only one day, and then when you tell them it's eight days, like how many? Do you it's think eight, when a black Hebrew uh, finds eight? out that it's eight days of Hanukkah, he just like goes missing around the holidays? <laughs> tell you the truth, I've only seen bad black joke. Israelites out in the in the summer, but definitely the in only the black summer. Israelite I've ever seen in person was in when I went and saw a Nets game. Kyrie Irvin, a Kyrie Irvin. I'm swerving into suburban. Right. But I will say this: I want to end it on everyone's perfect gift for doped up. DC, you won't give an answer. Kevin, what's a gift that we can get you this year? Use that coupon. A good gift? You know what would be a good gift? What? Tickets to see. Yeah. I yeah, you have nothing. See, you had nothing for Christmas. He get tickets to somewhere. Either wow. to see John Morant. Ooh, okay. I would love to see John Morant play ball live. Okay. The Grizzlies would have to go to the Nets. Uh, oh, the Nets or, or the Knicks. I, would, I wouldn't care either, though, yeah, either way. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm going to see. He flies you out. I know this is what I would want. Honestly. <laughs> John Morant versus I don't even know he's out if he's playing. I think he might be. I like injured. how you're saying just him. But uh, the Grizzlies versus um, the Charlotte Hornets. By the way, I just thought that of, sounds like an I, affordable I just game. Realized the gift I'm getting you for Christmas. I don't want to say it, but I can't. I already know the gift I'm getting you. Honestly, let's end this episode. I don't want to say it. All right, guys, <laughs> this is Delta Ben Dying. What's your perfect gift, dude? My perfect from perfect gift yeah, from the boys. Um. I mean, I would love. It's hard, to. right? Honestly, bro, the biggest gift that y'all could get me: take an editing class. Ooh. Oh, like for ourselves? If y'all help yourselves, that makes me happy, and I genuinely mean that shit. Mm-hmm. My biggest gift, like, and that sounds so corny, but like if you were like, bro, I went and took a how to hold a camera class, like angles and shit. Like, oh, you know what I actually uh, thought the, about? The, yo, that, that's would annoying be a when you can't look at your boys and be like, hold this camera real quick. You, you know, Kevin, whoa, like, speak Ke- yo, yourself. Kevin, hold the camera like your fucking dad recording you. Like, no, like, just, TikTok kids out there, you're like, hey, mom, hold my camera. He just Can't got a different. Like, doing shit like, that's not true. He all, just, right, all right, son. He, okay, he, son. he just got a different style of recording. Yeah, that's not true. Yeah, you know? bad angles. Style, it's, it's stylistic. You want to my dad pen, by the way? Your dad pen. This guy's unbelievable. But yeah, now, now that you mentioned it, I, I do need um Adobe Premiere edit, Lightroom, <laughs> and all that stuff. So yeah. By the way, now that Ado- you said way, Adobe <laughs> Premiere is a monthly subscription. This dude went from going, I don't need anything. Yeah. Can you sign and up? And then for you mentioned that we should life to nineteen ninety nine a month. Did he just mention that we should? Like Did he just mention that we should edit? <laughs> no, but uh, help yourself. Yeah, as a, I help with myself to you say, you to said, get to my money. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is the only person that tries to get out of fucking situation like going. <laughs> Alright guys. Son. Uh thank you so much for joining um your post Thanksgiving with us. Hope you enjoy spending time with your fucking family. Uh guys, thank you so much for joining us. Shout out again to Zia Farms for sponsoring this episode and sponsoring Doped Up and Dying. They are your prime time way to get C B D and other things like it. So go to Z E F H E M P dot com and go check out Zia. Um we probably saw the ad for them at the top of the episode. And um why not go again? So seriously, like go to them again, buy some more, C B D and all that. Guys, again, but hope you had some fun with your family this week. Thank you guys for joining us. Shout out to Kevin and DC. DC one day will get a gift that he's enjoys that won't be success because actually honestly, I know how people say success doesn't make you happy. It's gonna make DC very happy. He's gonna be the only person that's gonna like, take advantage of it. You're like, how is he so happy? Uh, There's no one right around now. him. I'm gonna let you know right now. When I'm mad successful, happy shit. It's gonna be dope as fuck. Oh, bro, the first thing I'm buying is a DeLorean, but that's another episode. That's another, that's another day for another episode. I would like to talk about. I would like to have like the the successful the, episode, like what you what the you success, would do. But we got we can bring topics, guys. This is Delta Been Dying, the, the Sunday morning, morning smoke show. show. Thank you for joining us. Peace. Stop whistling into the mic.